everyone, it's Stacy, and I'm gonna here to give you your serger tip for today. We are on the Euphoria, and this is a cover and chain stitch only machine. But what I'm gonna show you, you can also do on your Triumph or your Accolades, because um, they also have a cover and chain stitch feature. I have my looper tension at a four, my differential feet at neutral, and I have my length set at a 3.5. I am gonna show you our belt loop binders. I have my one and a half inch belt loop binder, which is a little bigger, and I have my three quarter inch belt loop binder. Now, when I first learned about these belt loop binders, I'm like, well, why do I need belt loop binders? I don't make belt loops, I don't make pants, but there's so many different things you can use the belt loop binder for. One thing you can do is you can make lanyard um, lanyards for them. You can make drawstring um, ribbons, or what are they called, the drawstring <laughs> ribbons, right? If you've ever done a Kimberbell crossbody bag, you know you have your straps. And the way they make you do your straps is you have your piece of fabric, you fold it in half, you iron it, you fold it in half again, then you iron it, and then you try not to burn yourself, right? Yeah. I have a, a lot easier way to make those straps for those crossbody bags. So what I'm going to do is I have my chain one needle and my chain three needle in. Now you can put all three needles in. It would just put another line down the center. So I'm going to put my little screws in and I am going to line up my binder foot and I am going to thread it in to my belt loop binder. And then you can see There we go, we have our cute belt loop, or lanyard, or purse strap, or whatever you wanna use it for.